January 14th, there was a plane that crashed on a roof in Utah. Some pretty unique challenges to firefighters. Let's see what happened. Okay, how did we get up here? We're on the roof. We've got this plane in shambles. This happened January 14th. It was a Zenith 750 Cruiser kit plane. November 145 Whiskey Tango was the tail number. As you can see there, the pilot was uninjured. 77-year-old man. Um, but some problems, you know, this was a Mountain Country Foods uh, building. They do treats and stuff. So luckily the treats were okay. But this is the building itself. There's the aircraft on top. We got to think how we're going to make access. How can we get the patient off? How can we get the aircraft off? So they use this scissor lift to get up to the roof and make access. And then they use the medical um, helicopter to get off and take the patient to the hospital. But here you can see fires on scene after they made access to the roof. They uh, took care of the patient, checked him out got him to the hospital but you also have to look at the roof itself is it structurally sound was there damage that you know you don't want collapse and fall through either and they were left from the aircraft left from the spanish fork municipal airport and this is in utah spanish fork airport utah so you can see here there's the runway and then there is the building there mountain country food it was uh, 185 East, 1600 North Street. The reason for these firefighter breakdowns are based off of RPD, a recognition prime decision making. It's a study by Dr. Klein. And it's basically saying that firefighters will make future decisions based off of past successful outcomes. So today, for example, they were successful making access to the roof because of the scissor lift. So now that I've studied this, when I go and there's a plane that crashes at the airport on the roof, I know that, okay, maybe we have a scissor lift or something like that that we can use because I know it works because I've seen it. So if I keep studying and we do the breakdowns and we see how they got the plane off the air, uh, off the airfield, how they made access to the patient, put all these things together and get that RPD built in my brain because planes don't crash every day, that at least when it does, I'll have a lot of options and experience from studying all these things and can make a good, hopefully successful outcome in the future. So that's the plan. This is our foot. I'm Keone and I'll see you guys next time.